working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. This is 17 News at 5.30. New at 530, the California coastline has some of the world's most beautiful scenery, so it's no surprise that two retirees from Shafter travel there once a week. But what might surprise you is what keeps them coming back so often. 17's Paul Harris has a look. When people talk about retirement, you often hear about a nice piece of land or someplace quiet to live out the golden years. What you don't hear often is braving all types of weather to teach the public about elephant seals. The picturesque scenery of California's coast is one of the main attractions of our state. Just a little over four miles north of Hearst Castle, lying in the golden hue of the sun, is one of the largest herds of elephant seals in North America. These quirky mammals have brought two friends from Shafter to spend their golden years of retirement together. Both are former school teachers who met in church in the 1980s. Just great people, you know. George Larson, a Marine captain during Vietnam and retired Shafter High School history teacher, has been with an organization called Friends of the Elephant Seal since 2004. The organization is a nonprofit, and volunteers called docents or out of the bluffs 365 days a year in all types of weather. We can have days out here when the wind is, is blowing at, at 35, 40 miles an hour. Uh, if you want to add some rain to that, it can be really miserable. When Jim Seiler, a former kindergarten teacher from the Richland School District in Shafter, heard what his friend George was doing, he knew he had to be a part of it. Totally amazing and awesome to be over here because they're talking to people from all over the world. But Seiler is just as happy when he gets recognized by a former student and her grandmother. I wonder if Mr. Seiler's going to be here today. Yeah, I hope he, he is, is here. And he's the first here guy I saw. The elephant seals are only on land for a few months out of the year, primarily to give birth, then to mate again. They don't eat much while on land because they're able to live off their stored blubber. When they are in the water, male elephant seals will travel as far as the Aleutian Islands near Alaska to feed on squid, small sharks, and fish, often diving to the depths of 1,000 to 3,000 feet. The best times to see the elephant seals on the beach are during the months of January and February. But there is one day in particular when the seals are at their highest numbers. The peak of our birthing season was actually February 14th, Valentine's Day. Now how nice can that be? <laughs> the elephant seals are protected under federal law, and volunteers say an adult male can reach speeds up to 24 miles per hour. You don't want to get too close, because if you did, they can inflict some serious damage. Before we got the, the railing set up here, uh, people could walk down on the beach. One man thought it would be a good photo opportunity to place his 10-year-old daughter on a female seal. The alpha male took exception to that, and fortunately he attacked the man and not the little girl. Uh, it severely injured the, the man and they had to get the emergency helicopter uh, from San Luis Obispo out here to get him to the hospital in time. The man would survive, and Larson says that most people are very respectful of the mammals. The best part of the job, Larson says, is interacting with people, especially when he sees a child's face light up after learning something new. In one month, he'll be 300 pounds. Whoa! Yeah, whoa, he certainly will be. They'll come out with, wow, yeah, and that's really rewarding. You know, if we can get that, wow, uh, that's the most rewarding part of it all. The colony has grown from about 20 elephant seals in 1990 to roughly 20,000 today. If you'd like to learn more about the organization Friends of the Elephant Seal, visit our website at kerngoldenempire.com and click on the hot link icon. Paul Harris, 17 News. All right, good story. Supervisors for Gabe.